You should think about getting you a key to this place, huh? No, that's a step. Yeah. Uh, would make things easier. Well, what do we have in here? Hmm? Vintage car? Well, it should definitely be garaged. You don't really strike me as a vintage car kind of girl. It was a graduation gift for my grandfather. I think it was his favorite. Thank you for helping with all this. It's my pleasure. It's been nice. We're gonna have to get back into the real world at some point, though. Yeah. Really? Really. I'm not okay, huh? Yeah, I thought it went very well. I'm gonna head back to the office. See you later. What is that in your pocket? What? It is difficult to get anything if we can't talk about why Geist was here. I can't help you there. You're gonna have to. I understand you want to protect your investigation, but this is a waste of time. So I thought you guys were some innovative team that was capable of working outside the box. So what is with your whining? Don't talk to her like that. We are not whining. Yeah, it sounds like you're whining. You don't have to talk to her like that. Hey, back off. off. I won't back off. You needn't talk to her like that. Look, you spent a lot of time and energy trying to figure out who is selling guns in this place. We're not going to let you guys come in and mess up our investigation until that person has been identified and arrested. Do you got me? Fine. Get all over for you. What are you doing out here? Oh, I just needed some air. What are you reading? FBI psychological report on Jeremy Geist. Anything interesting? A couple of things. Any things to do with the case? Maybe. Jane. You don't need to wait until I need to know to tell me things, okay? Not anymore. You're right. It's okay. No, no, please. Let me, uh... Let me apologize. I'm sorry. It's fine. What's up? So, it's, uh... You and her. Yeah. Um... I'm sorry, we, we didn't intend for it to happen like this. I know it was the last thing on her mind, the idea of hurting you. I know. I know that. So do you have a plan? I don't really understand. Well, I was offering her a life home, a family if she wanted it, a future. Have you thought about any of that? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Well, what are you offering her? I mean, other than Patrick Jane. That was weird. What did he say? Uh, he asked me if I had a plan for you. Plan? Yeah, um, I don't, I, well, I, I, I think I, I know what feels right, I think we know what feels right, and I think that, that that should be our guide. So do I. I do have one thing for you. What? Turn around and look out there. It's a 1930 Cadillac V16, mint condition, rented for the day. Last chance, you sure you don't want to drive? I'm positive. Okay. You do know how to drive this. I'll figure it out. I'm afraid to ask how you got this.